Governor, uh, this past week you reopened the port of Baltimore just three months after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. How long before full shipping traffic returns and you see that benefit to your economy? Well, the benefit has already begun and, and I'm so inspired by the work that this state pulled off. I mean, we showed that in Maryland we do big things. Uh, because that morning, I know we, people were saying this could take, you know, six, nine months, up to a year to clear the federal channel. And what many people said was going to take 11 months, we got done in 11 weeks. And it's because we worked together. And so the fact that the Port of Baltimore is reopened, the fact that the full federal channel, 700 feet by a 50 foot depth, is now has full access uh, is an extraordinary accomplishment. And the federal government has provided uh, some support here too. I've, I've read reports that the cost of rebuilding the bridge could be nearly $2 billion. Is, is that accurate? You know, I can tell you the, the Biden administration have been phenomenal partners. So we know the estimated cost could be between 1.7 and 1.9 billion dollars. And the reason that we are urging a, a federal cost share um, and a 100% cost share is just simply because we have to move quickly. And I need to get this done on time and on budget. We know that in order to move fast, we've got to get that 100% cost share. So we are spending time working with, uh, with members of both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans, but to know that if we can work together in this moment, we are going to get something really important for the American economy done. Well, Congress would still need to sign off on that. And, and President Biden has pledged, as you just mentioned, um, to use federal dollars to rebuild. But we are getting very close to an election. Do you believe that you will get that support and those funds appropriated before we see a possible change in administration? Uh, I've been incredibly encouraged by the amount of support that we've received from both Democrats and Republicans. And I do feel confident we are going to get this done.